All right, KISS Army, welcome to the KISS FAQ Podcast. Thank you for giving us your time today and letting us into your head. I hope we don't do any damage. This is a KISS-related podcast by the board for the board. We hope that you enjoy. Welcome to episode 418 of the KISS FAQ Podcast. I'm your host, Julian Gill. Um, Today, got Daniel Lees on the board (laughs) back. Thanks for staying up late again. And, of course, Marcus Almighty Mark and 69th Blizzard Ken. Hello. Okay. Well, guys, it's been a pretty quiet week. What should we talk about? (laughs) What a freaking crazy week it's been. It seems every time you turn around, another piece of rare to the vast majority of people video is um, leaking on YouTube. So I I think a lot of the online KISS army have already anointed Sam Loomis as president, a saint, and built a statue. Uh, And that's just after, what, eight videos, seven videos, eight videos. Um, It's absolutely insane. We mentioned, of course, Largo 75 as part of last week's show. But I think this week that we have no option but to go through each of these videos and how much everyone's seen and perhaps pick a favorite so far thoughts on these videos now that I guess the entire versions are out uh, where previously obviously on Kissology, Kobo 77 I think you didn't get all of it and some of it have been released on uh, what was it exposed I always get it mixed Mm. up because I I never watch those ones anymore. You know, what are some of the standouts for you from these leaks Um, and any other topics around all that? So, you know, why don't I just start with Daniel and your thoughts about all this freaking video? Have you been away from your screen during the week or has have you been checking in on old Sam to see what he's uh, or she is putting up? Uh, I've been following him or her closely and I've been watching each and every um, concert that ha- has been released. Uh, I haven't ha- had the time to watch all of it. It's almost like an you know, overload. The first two shows, I think it was, was it Largo 75? And uh, I think it was another concert from 75. The first two, I watched them, you know, closely. But uh, I need some more time to to fully go into the rest of the concerts. But what I watched uh, clips from every concert and, and they look awesome. Uh, and it's such a, it's Christmas for every KISS fan. I guess it's about the best week to be a KISS fan since, I don't know when. It's it's like getting a great KISSology or two or three of them the same week. So for me, it's just been pure bliss. Yeah, and uncut other than, you know, like Houston I think leaked today and it's got a a fault in it, which just is what it is. But you literally aren't going to get any better than these versions now. Um, You know, obviously they're in YouTube quality, but come on, it's for for the vast majority of people. Again, that's the best they're going to see. And you're finally getting to see it. So that second 75 show that you were uh, referring to is, of course, Kobo, May yeah. 75. And that is footage. I think it, it it was filmed. So it was synced with audio from Long Beach. That is not that would have been icing on the cake if it had, you know, the audio <laughs> from the actual show synced with it. But obviously the uh, the sync job that has been done with the audio that is available close to that date is a very good one. Though there are a couple of, you know, just impossible areas where hands are in different positions um but very good work ken you know as, as a longtime fan who saw kiss three times on the creatures of the night tour <laughs> yeah. this inundation of 75 and 76 material uh, how's it hit you i think it's fantastic um, that it's happening um i think uh you know like Daniel said, it's like Christmas or you know, Christmas in July, right? So, um, I you know I don't know why it's it's happening. Uh, I have ideas of of why, um, based on what I know. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's just fantastic. Um, we're always looking for 
even going way back into the 80s when I first started finding some videos and bootlegs and stuff on VHS tape um, back in the day, uh, it was exciting to find anything, uh, any concert footage, because you just didn't, you just didn't see it other than, you know, being able to see them live. And, I, you know, I didn't start seeing them live until 79. That was my first, uh, you know, live show. So I always heard about the legend, legendary, you know, uh, performances and at Kobo and, and all these other things um, going way back. And I was like, man, I wish I could have seen that, that you know, you know, this or that. And we've, we've seen some on the bootlegs and they were, you know, some, some were okay quality, some were not. And then we, then we saw some more, uh, on the, you know, like the, the kiss videos that, uh, they were putting out exposed and so on. Um, and then we knew there was stuff out there. Um, and then of course, Kissology. Um, but then you could see that kiss had either gave partial or, they they changed the coloring, you know, and made it darker and that sort of stuff sometimes, uh, which wasn't as good as even the old VHS. So seeing these come out is just is just really just so cool. I mean, I think I downloaded, <laughs> so I already downloaded and put a couple things on DVD, um, you know, like uh, the 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 one from uh, Tokyo, the the was it the afternoon show one and. And, uh, and then there's the, um, uh, kiss rehearsals too. We didn't talk about yeah. that. The full kiss rehearsals. That was a big deal. Um, which I remember seeing, you know, parts of those in the past. So it, it's just, it's just great to see it happen <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, I, I don't know what reason, but I'm happy and I think it's, it's really cool. And I've been watching a little bit of each one i think i watched a couple of full ones and then the other ones i kind of went spotted you know through through those but i'll eventually watch which watch all of them all the way through yeah it's really tough for me as an audio guy to get away from that audio lens of looking at things um because mm. i find it very difficult to watch shows um, because I like to do other things while I'm listening to the music generally, and I love listening to live performances, but I couldn't pull my eyes away from Anaheim in particular. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the alternate angle and getting to see the Destroyer stage in operation, the Frankenstein machine, yeah. the lightning balls, which Ace Frehley, I think 1978 or 79, he requested, I think it must be 79, maybe even 80, um, he sent a memo into the office that he wanted those lightning bolts that had been used for the destroyer stage to be transported from the warehouse to the studio that he was building. So old AC wanted his light, his uh, destroyer lightning bolts installed. I mean, like what the fuck are you going to do with them? You know, rig them up with shock neon me. and, and yeah, shock me. Ah. So uh, <laughs> just, just a cool story on, on that aside. What I like so far is obviously Largo, it, we, we talked about last week, but that's kind of pre-prime. That's on the cusp. A lives out, starting to hit, clearly. Um, the performance is just absolutely stunning. The audio on that uh, you know, is the best for my ears of any of these shows. And we'll talk about the audio a bit as well. Um, but Kobo 77, uh, 76, pardon me, um, night three, Holy crap, to see the whole thing now. Yeah, we've seen it before, but to see it in that quality, it just blows my mind. This was, again, alive. So this is pre-Glickman Marks. This is still with the original road crew. Mm -hmm. This is before they went kind of paint by numbers, which you know happens later. But just the the stuff before may 76 or june when the uh destroyer tour kicks off their first real tour with a real stage and they shit canned a lot of the the original crew uh are two different eras that are so well represented by this and the rehearsals of course we finally get to see some of the destroyer rehearsals that we haven't seen previously god of thunder flaming youth which is super cool mark video your thoughts well, 
and I've I've really been enjoying it. I mean, I mentioned once before. I think I I think I put a post up somewhere on Facebook, maybe or somewhere that uh, one of the earliest things I ever got when I started going to Kiss conventions in the '90s was I got Cobo Hall '76 Night One and Night Two. I had bought both of them. You know, I I, I splurged. I was like, wow, I'm gonna get both of these ones. You know, not knowing about any kind of Night Three at that time. Uh, and I watched that those two VHS tapes until they're like just used and abused. They're, it's like almost snow now that video. It's like so being played a hundred thousand times. <clears throat> and I really, really love that particular show. Um, so when all this stuff started coming out, it, it was it like you guys said it was like Christmas because I'm so used to seeing those shows and seeing every little new remembering every little nuance and every little you know, face facial grimace or every little thing that happens, like, you know, when Peter's playing, uh, I think it's in she or something, and when he when he's playing and he and his stick breaks and he throws it into the crowd and then grabs another stick and starts playing. I like I remember every little small detail of these shows. And then then to, for them to release like, you know, Largo. And it's like watching, you know, the same sort of show, but a completely different vibe to it altogether. The video is different. Like the, the the whole the look of it is a bit better looking and it, it's it's great. I mean, I I really enjoyed it. The, the thing that I was really happy to see was they put out the rehearsals because I I had a long time ago on this videotape that my ex girlfriend gave me. She had the first two songs in the rehearsals: Detroit Rock City and King of the Nighttime World. Now was it? All right. So when I saw that they released this and there was much more to it, that was great. I I really wanted to see some more of that footage. But I mean, it's it's incredible how much stuff he, he's already released uh, released in such a short period of time uh, for us to, to for us to enjoy. I mean, that that whole seventy seven uh, afternoon show from Tokyo. I mean, that's great. I mean, uh, I I never thought that we would get to see that, you know. And like you know, the Houston you know seventy six show that they that they put up to. I mean, there's so many. Great shows I've heard about, and are like that were hidden within like collector circles that you know you thought that would maybe never ever come out again, but it's starting to come out. I mean, look at nobody thought years back that we would ever see the full version of I, on video, but you know eventually that got you know found and somebody bought it and somebody put it up. You know, so I think the time is coming now. I mean, look at Kiss is winding down. Well. They're supposed to be winding down. They added another hundred shows apparently, but uh, they, they're supposed to be winding down. So maybe now is the time to start, you know, letting this stuff come out a little bit more freer. I couldn't find my mute button. God, <laughs> too, again, too many meetings this week with different <laughs> uh, meetings apps. Yeah. So let me touch on a point. Does it concern you? how this stuff may have come out and whether it could have a negative impact on official projects. Obviously, Destroyer 45 is out and in the can, so there was no video component to that. But in relation to, let's say, something like the uh, Japan 77 3 p.m. show, I think that's April the 2nd, off the mm -hmm. top of my head. If that shit cans, say, a Japan 77 or Superbox officially released, <laughs> w w would you be disappointed? Or do you think it doesn't matter because the bootleggers are more likely going to put out the product um, before anyone else does? Mark, you're laughing. You get to answer that first. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just the, the thought of Kiss actually doing something like that just made me laugh <laughs> that they would, they would actually do something smart like that, like get footage like that and make a DVD or Blu-ray release of it with, you know, Love Gun related material, you know, I mean, how, come on, how many episodes have we done on on this show, like to, together, like tons here, like we're in 400s here now, how many times on these shows did we say and or begged Kiss to do something like that, and they've never done it yet, okay, the closest thing they've done to anything that we've complained about is a destroyer box, but that even left a lot to be desired too for too many people. I mean, I, I'm not complaining about it. I thought there was a lot of stuff that was great about that, but you know, some people are saying, oh, there's no vinyl in that. 
Now, some people are saying, oh, there's no live footage on video. There's no this, there's no that. You know, and now we see that they have footage from that time period that they can do like for an upcoming box. But, you know, you honestly think they're going to go that far and put this on a, on a DVD, you know, just a DVD, forget Blu-ray. Blu-ray is asking too much. If they put it on even on a DVD and, and release it in a box set, I, I would be absolutely flabbergasted and, and in shock if they did it. But hey, you never know. You know, maybe they'll prove me wrong, but you know, I'm going to leave Ken to, to, to do that. He's Mr. Optimistic. He's the one who thinks that they'll always come through with something eventually. So I'll leave it to Ken. Well, if if you remember, the Destroyer box set, right, has the Paris uh, audio, a, li a live show, a live show, which mm -hmm. which is readily available out there. Um, I'm sure that's actually on YouTube. <laughs> better too. quality, and, and yeah, yeah, oh, I'm sure. Actually, yeah, it's probably better quality. But yeah, I mean, they they did that. You know, why can't they grab a video and and put it, you know, put it in a because box? They've never done it so far. They've well, never yeah, done it. Like, they don't have to. I mean, even at this point, since it's already out there, people can just download it, right, um, or or see it. Um, but they could try to monetize it. You know, um, I, the thing is now, kiss uh, the all that stuff if they wanted to put it out you know they're at they would ask for it and and they're, they're not going to pay for it obviously uh they don't they don't pay for anything um so it, that may prevent it from you know being on there because kiss doesn't want to uh you know get sued because someone else owns it technically but it's really I don't know if anyone really truly owns it um, outright um, anymore um, so I, I don't know um, it, they may or may not but if it prevents it th th that's fine it's out there you know as long as it's out there I think one way or the other for the KISS fans that's fine um, KISS can put other other packages together I don't think it's gonna ruin anything I think uh, either they will be able to use it still or they'll find out if someone has copyrighted it or, or done something with it or I don't know uh, with the video that they may uh, do something and maybe pay some money if it's not outrageous uh, but otherwise yeah they can get by with it they did it with Destroyer so that was the first box set. Creatures we don't know what we're gonna get we don't know if we're gonna get maybe a video oh that'd be great if we do get a video of a creature show um, that hasn't been, you know, shown to everyone, um, or we may get something that's already we've seen part of already. Anyway, um, I don't know, so we'll just have to wait and see, or not see, Damn. or not see. Yeah. I think Kiss has uh, given up on video a long time ago. You know, there's no money in, in it anymore, and you guys talking about DVDs and Blu-rays. Well, after a few people have bought them, they are up on YouTube anyway. So there's just no money in it. And we all know if there is no money in it, KISS, they aren't that interested in being a part of it. So I think this is the only way of getting video of old school KISS. So there's just no other way to get it. The bootleggers need to put it out. So I'm really happy they did it. and. When I went to the KISS concerts a few week ago, weeks ago, it struck me that uh, there's a lot of kids around that likes KISS. And what, what, what a joy for them uh, mm -hmm. to be part of something like this. Uh, they don't need to spend all that they, their pocket money on some old Animal Eyes Live Uncensored or uh, uh, mm -hmm. KISS Confidential if they can even fa find them. They get it from the source, from the bootleggers on YouTube, where they sh surely are all the time anyway. So just imagine being that 10 year old kiss fan and seeing this stuff for the first time and getting a real introduction. Maybe you saw them in concerts a few weeks ago and then you get this. And uh, I, I think it's a, a great thing. And 
KISS has had every opportunity to do something with the, the, the video. They haven't done it, as Mark said. So uh, this is the only way we'll, we'll get it. And just give it a month or two, there will be a lot of cool vinyls out there with the stuff on it as well, if you if you care for that stuff. <laughs> uh, but but uh, KISS dropped the ball, so to speak, a long time ago. I wouldn't buy any vinyl with this shit on it because it's sourced mm -hmm. from YouTube. Fucking garbage audio put on. Yeah, vinyl. but you guys, you guys don't even listen to the vinyl. You just put it up on the wall and and watch, <laughs> look at it. So it doesn't really matter. Just as long as it looks great, you can have it. So, uh, I think you should buy, you know, the Swedish book books and put them in your bookshelf. You know, you look at them as well. You know, Daniel made an excellent, excellent point there. That's the one. My one of my biggest like pet peeves of these box sets that come out like i've seen so many fantastic ones by on various channels this fantastic unboxed uh, unmasked box set that i got four posters you know laminates you know all these special things picks this and that and stuff and i go and ask the guy I go wow it's an amazing box set. You know, look at the program all these photos and stuff in there it's amazing how does the how does the vinyl sound um I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet. And I go, well, when you listen to it, let me know. What does it sound like? Uh, it doesn't sound, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like a cement mixer. <laughs> it sounds like shit. And these people are have the gull to charge people $250 for these boxes because all you're really paying it for now is these posters and these programs and all that because you're sure as hell not paying it for the concert because it sounds yeah. like shit. You know, that's why I got out of that long time ago. I've only ever bought two bootlegs. One was that uh, hydraulic rock one, which is actually a really nice one and a good one. It's, it's actually a soundboard, so that sounds pretty decent. But I got another one, Living the Dream from Memphis, it's like 75. And it sounds like it was recorded fucking underwater with a hand recorder. It sounds like shit. Yeah, but, but I actually who... paid $30 for that. You yeah. know? But, but nowadays people know that. They know it sounds like crap. But well, the, why would you spend that on that? Yeah, but it's yeah. still a market. Just having it in in your bookshop and and uh, look at all look my shitty sounding yeah. albums. Like, if you're a collector, you're a collector. So there there that, are that, a lot of those guys around. But that, uh, that, I'm sorry, you're, you're not a collector. You're an addict at that point. Yeah, you're just yeah, buying it true. because it's a shiny yeah. item and it sounds that's, like shit. Yeah. And Fine. they've been able to cut and paste liner notes from websites and collect photos from websites oh, yeah. and throw it all together and make it look pretty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I mean, they do look great. But what are you paying for? You're not paying for photo licensing for high quality, high resolution. Well, unfortunately, you are uh, because those are traded as well in, in the dark nether regions of the interwebs. Um, there, whereas there's audio and video, there are photos. But you're not paying for anything you're certain, other than manufacturing and pure profit to the bootleggers mm -hmm. because they do very little work on audio because in many cases it's not sourced off the original material in many cases it is sourced off youtube and then just tweaked uh, so you've already got lossy audio being you know someone's paying for a lacquer to be made with lossy audio and that's just offensive to me but yeah. uh, that's why we need to to hail this sam loomis guy because it doesn't seem like he has any you know uh, he, he's not trying to make a buck He's just putting it out there because he feels the fans will love it. He could it's, have it has done nothing it to do with the fans loving it. It's, mm -hmm. It has to do with he's butthurt for some reason. And yeah, I, it I, seems I, like I don't. Yeah. I don't want to know the reasons. I'm not going to mention either of the names that have been posted in the there comments. There can be many reasons. Uh, there can be many reasons. You know, it, it's rage posting. Um, and and yes, the consequences for us fans to get to see this stuff is one thing, but it raises the question of someone broke trust and i know no one who's seeing this for the first one gives a shit about any of that drama um no. you know but your word is your word if you agree to obtain rare material and if you then think about well how did the person selling this get in you know get the material it's a whole ball of wax i don't want to go anywhere near you know <laughs> the stick to the material and mocking the bootleg packages because that's that's no. much easier um 
but people are already selling DVDs of this shit on it. It's one thing for yeah, Ken to burn it onto DVD to watch on his big screen at home, but he's not then going into his super secret Archer um, <laughs> Facebook group and right. selling DVDs of Largo 15 minutes after it's debuted on on YouTube, which is even yeah. worse beca because audio put on vinyl and then video from YouTube put on DVD. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Ken. I named you. I pointed my finger at you for p putting it on DVD. Hey, that's yeah, all right. I don't know. Yeah, you don't need DVDs anymore. You just stream it right away on your TV. So I don't know yeah. why you need discs anymore. Well, I mean, because you, you know, because if you have a 70 inch screen, it's a lot bigger than your phone. You know, I mean, you can watch it, you know, on something a little bit more larger. I think that's probably why people do it, right? I mean, I, I can stream all I want on my telephone, but my screen is only as big as you see on whenever I show it on here when I'm showing videos. And I mean, if I can see it on speaker, speakers as well are better on a, a TV or a lot of yeah, exactly systems. You know, they've got big, big screens and big speakers, and they get the full experience. Ken, how was it on your big screen? It looked great. <laughs> it looked, I, I thought it looked great. I mean, from you know, uh, you don't want to be too close to it, obviously, especially when it's a big screen. Um, but uh, I was, you know, I'm pretty far back uh, from it, and and uh, it looked great, looked great, and sounded great on it. Um, and I, I put it on DVD for that reason, you know, so I can just, you know, kick back. I don't have to search for it on, you know, YouTube. I'll just have it in a in a in a drawer and have them all in one place, and I'll just be able to watch it whenever I want to watch it. Um, pull it out, so. Yeah, I'm not doing anything else with it other than just, you know, when I feel the need <laughs> to, to watch some live kiss and good live kiss, uh, I'm going to, you know, be able to do it real easy. I'll throw it in my, uh, pop the disc in my uh, old PS3, you know, PlayStation The need 3. for speed. So, yeah, well, and just another thing, I mean, just really quickly, uh, for people who are interested in maybe you know, getting a little bit of detail about what's going on with this. There's a good article out from this site called vmmusicrocks.com, and he kind of goes a little bit into it, not into much detail, but a it's... little bit, right? If you want to check that out. What what does this does this fucking leaker have a PR company? Because there, there's there's articles all over yeah. the place yes. now, including yes. including classic rock. It's on Twitter. It's all over the place. Has anyone in the Kiss organization actually seen well, this? Well, it's Largo several, has sixty five thousand yeah. views, and it's yeah, been up it's for a, ten days. Yeah, yeah, well, it's even on several several rock sites in Sweden as well. It's it's made kind of a you know noise. Uh, Kiss doesn't get a lot of attention over there but this thing has uh, gotten a lot of articles on, on swedish swedish rock sites as well i mean if this doesn't shake their you know brains a little bit and make them wake up a little bit to, to the, hmm. the missed opportunities here then nothing is going to wake them up i don't think nope. but you know the, but i think you're correct in one sense i mean this is somebody who's very hurt by something that went on i mean you know the, the running rumor that i heard is that you know, a bunch of people go in on something, they buy it together, and one person broke his word and started selling it again and reselling it to people when they promised not to. And then, mm -hmm. bam, the guy got, okay, you're going to start selling it? I'm going to just leak it, and now it's worthless. You know? Yeah. And and that's pretty much, in a nutshell, I think, what happened. I've, if it is it true, I don't know. I, I know nothing. But I'm just saying that that's what I heard and read online. You know, and you know, you know the online is always true. So, Must be. Abe, Abe Lincoln's in a lot of memes saying stuff that's absolutely true. <laughs> Ken, you're going to say something? No, I mean, I, I agree with uh, uh, Mark. Um, I do agree that there was some that kind of deal broken, um, and whether it was to, to sell something or or what. I think, you know, they all bought, you know, whoever. I know some bought, some, you know, these videos together. Uh, if you're going in on together and then somebody, you know, breaks the agreement, then, you know, all bets are off at that point. <laughs> so, uh, whether it's because they're selling it or because they wanted to, uh, monetize it some other way. And they said, no, you can't do that because I have, you know, the same copy as you, um, maybe one's trying to sell to kiss, but you know. Unless if you're gonna sell it to Kiss, then all, all, all everyone mm -hmm. would have to 
uh, get a reap a reward from that. You know, I don't think anybody's ever scared of selling it to kiss. But yeah, I'm just anything. I'm just yeah throwing that out there. So it's it's more like what you said, Mark, and it, and it's probably more likely true than not um, that you know it, there was only a certain amount of people had these, and then someone decided, oh, I'm just gonna you know either give more out or charge you know people to uh, send out some more videos so who, who knows the the final story we may never know really but uh in the either way i i think it's just still a, a great a great thing for the kiss army in general mm -hmm. um yeah and that it's not hoarded i guess which a lot of people us, us my, myself maybe has said that you know some people are just hoarding this stuff at this point well, they're never going to get any money out of kiss so might as well before everyone dies um, i'll yeah, tell you this it though there. it's been a long 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 time since i've kind of wanted to get up in the morning and quickly check my phone for anything kiss related okay and this is the first time in a long time where I'm like, okay, shit, what's going to be leaked today? Let's go quick on the phone. Or it's at 7 a.m., shit, something's got to be up already. You know, like, I'm quickly going to these sites now just to see if something gets leaked. And I'm telling you, like I said, I haven't gotten this excited about KISS stuff in a long time. So in one way, it's sort of re-fired up my love of the old KISS things. Like I said, I used to watch these things religiously. I go to band practice for four hours in my band, come home throw off my shoes, grab a beer, sit in front of the sofa, put in, you know, Dynasty tour or put in 77 tour or watch Winterland, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I would watch these things all the times. I, I loved it. And now just to have this new expanded world of this start up again, it's, I tell you, I feel like I'm like 20 years old again. It's great, but so far it's only 70s kiss. What do you think uh, the chances are that we get something from the 80s or even 90s? Well, no. it depends if it's rare. I don't know. I think it's 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 a good possibility. I mean, <clears throat> they're starting with the real old stuff. I'm sure these collectors bought uh, more than just you know these limited you know. 70s well, let's ones. put it this way: the guy wants to do cause the most damage. So, what's going to do the most damage? The stuff that's the most rarest and probably the most hardest. To probably find within collector circles, and I'm yeah. guessing it's this old stuff. Like I'm, I'm guessing if anybody within those guys has, for some reason, miraculously found like that first Winterland performance, I would guess that would so, be one of the rarest mm -hmm. things to find. But you know, but, but, but to me it looks there. You know, uh, to me it looks like haven't he hasn't he been releasing them in order? 75, 76. Maybe he's working his way through the years. Well, 77. Was there, I mean, yeah, he did the Tokyo. He's keeping it in the 70s. 70s. Yeah, I don't know he if did it's, the it, Tokyo. Yeah, I don't know if it's any particular order. One. It's his own order. I yeah, guess. and don't forget that the other Tokyo, uh, Tokyo first went through someone mm -hmm. else, and it was missing the uh, encores, and mm -hmm. then it came back up through Sam with the encores um, in place, and that's I think simply because how the files are split or something. Um, who knows what's next? Who knows what's driving this person? Um, it, probably their taste. You know what's going to get the most clicks because sure. it, look at the look at the amount of views. You know, again, I, I mentioned Largo has been up for ten days and has sixty five thousand views. Kobo seventy five, sixty five thousand after four days. Um, the rehearsals and that's both rock and roll over including the lip sync stuff done for uh, what was it don kirshner and Promos. destroyer in june um right. views in two days and there you now we know that the the, the footage of peter chris in the a and e biography black and white scene yeah. bath was from the those rehearsals that was again something right. else uh, i mentioned flaming youth and i think god of thunder earlier as not on the the copies that had circulated previously yeah. uh, but also again th that to me is the greatest although i when i saw it complete i'm like sweet pain sweet pain sweet pain because mm -hmm. you know that was in the set list during the rehearsals um so who knows if there is any footage additional footage still available that would be the one that i would want to see sweet pain performed by the 76 lineup mm -hmm. in 76 <laughs> mode uh with 76 
<laughs> production going on in the background. Um, the, the, the rehearsals to me are the very best so far of what we've seen apart from Largo 75, um, just in terms of the interest. Kobo, I can give or take simply because it synced with the wrong show and it's not, it doesn't seem to be in order. It seems to be in a bunch of things that have been put together as best as possible and assembled into something watchable. Um, whereas Largo is clearly the whole kit and caboodle untouched. So that's cool. Um, I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of cool. Mark is showing the audience from, I think it's yeah. Houston. They had yeah. a, a, an extensive clip of the audience, and it was a pretty cool seeing them passing around, you know, joints and. Was uh, uh, well, it the, gir the girl showing off her belt buckle, yeah. her kiss belt buckle? Right, yeah, the that belt was pretty cool. She showed. Yeah. <laughs> but then, <clears throat> then uh, much as the clip that was released a few months back of uh, Madison Square Garden '79. They, see, they seem to have a few creeps doing the camera work because they seem to, to like to film very young girls for extensive amount of times. But, uh, yeah. but uh, all in all, I think it was cool. It's kind of cool. You get the vibe of the concert in a way when you see the, the audience. And uh, at one of the concerts for Kobe, you can see the 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 sign from the yeah. back side of, of of Alive. Yeah. You know that famous sign yeah. on, on the back. Yeah. Alive. So it's definitive. So was... It wasn't a rush audience on the back cover yeah. of Alive or a Styx yeah, audience, true. whatever it was. Yeah. It's a so real it was kind of, kiss audience. So there are some nug nuggets in these videos for sure. Yeah, and that's that's the whole thing. To uh, to have this sort of dump of video is similar to what the vault was. You know, mm -hmm. not only for those of us who purchased it. I, I mean, I am still digest. Yeah. I am yeah. I am still digesting the vault. Um, <laughs> You know, I saw a video of I Wait up on uh, yeah. YouTube the other day, and I posted on the board because that. that just reminded me how much good stuff there is within the vault. And it's going to be the same with these videos that you're going to watch these. I'm going to have to find time where I'm not writing something or, you know, not just trying to listen, to actually just sit there and watch it. And I'm going to start with Anaheim being the very first show that I get, I, I think I will probably do what Ken did, burn it to DVD and put it up on the big screen. Shudder, my, <laughs> my heart just twitched there, um, saying that I do that, so that I can see it in as much glory as possible, uh, because you know that that is what is available, or I'll stream YouTube to my TV if it's smart enough. I don't, actually it is, yeah. Ooh, I've got Apple TV, and I can do it through that. There All right, go. cool, I'm, so, I'm sorted. Um, but I do want to watch that production, especially of the Destroyer stage. That excites me a lot. Yeah, Again, you know, I, I mentioned already that that was their first real production when they had had the home brew operation going, basically scaling between 73 and 75. So in mid 76, that's when they get their first real show. And you've got the, I want to see the crumbling walls in that glory. I, I hate Flo and Eddie with a, with a passion. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but I stage. do want, I want to see the lightning. I watched it, some of it today, and just seeing the, all the effects going on behind Peter Chris to mm -hmm. see Gene up on the demon stand from a whole new perspective. And I, I am not a visual guy. Because that's why I write everything down. Again, I don't remember the minutia of scenes that I will have seen from the existing version of Anaheim or Houston, for that matter. So, And I can't wait to see what some of the creative-minded are going to do with this footage in making multicam edits you know, to bring an artistic interpretation to these things. You know... Has Kiss missed the boat? I don't know. I think there must be a reason why none of these things have been released in their entirety on the Kissology series, or there there must be some rhyme or reason. If there is not, well, I, it's probably a little bit too late, which is unfortunate. How do you plan on consuming the rest of these videos, Daniel? Because I take it you've not watched them all with a microscope at this point. Um. I'm shocked hearing you guys watch YouTube on your phones. I always watch on my big screen TV when I watch music, so that's what I will, will be doing. Uh, I watch uh, with, you know, great surround system and so on, so it sounds kind of cool. Uh, I would never watch a whole concert on my phone. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, but I will for sure watch the concerts in their entirety. Uh, and much as Mark said, when I was a kid, I I uh, fell asleep watching Kiss. I like to watch Kiss videos. Uh, but my cup of tea was more, you know, those videos from South America. I don't know how many times I watched Santiago and Buenos Aires and uh, what was it? Sao Paulo, and they weren't uh, of the best quality, but still I watched them over and over again because that was the way I wanted Kiss to sound. I liked Eric Singer and Bruce and everything. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of still hoping for something from the 90s leak. <laughs> we saw some clips in that uh, documentary that was released last year uh, uh, from Tokyo 95, single camera shot. Uh, mint quality. I'd like that to leak <laughs> because, mm. uh, uh, of course, it's beautiful to see Kiss in all their gl glory from the 70s. They were at the top of their game. But still, you know, it's almost the same songs. Uh, if we get 78 and 79, it's more of the same, sort of. I'd like some shows from the 80s and 90s um, and not reunion era but uh, you know so shows between maybe creatures tour and uh, the 95 tour of australia and japan some some show from that era would be great because in in addition to that uh, they're also missing out on these concerts with the series of you know the that uh, what's it called um of the soundboard of the, sound, of the soundboard series mm -hmm. They seem to ignore completely, for example, the Eric Carr era. So I'm really hoping that this uh, bootlegger will release something from that era. Ken. So, actually, uh, Daniel, think of what you'd be most disappointed with as well uh, for the final question before I move on. Uh, Ken. So as far as uh, what might be next um, or hope to see that if it's even out there is yeah I agree like you know definitely creatures uh, better 79 better dynasty show um, yeah 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 and no. uh, you wouldn't want a dynasty show I no do. dynasty Terrible no unmasked <clears throat> really well un uh, unmasked would be alright too but um, um Definitely, uh, no creatures. Yeah, um, Asylum is a big one. The the, the tour, uh, which is do we need any? All we hear is, is rumors. With, uh, with Animalize live uncensored, do we need anything further, or isn't that? Oh, you're talking about Animalize, enough? but I think Asylum you need. Oh, you said Asylum. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The other A. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, aside, yeah, maybe Animalize live uncensored. You don't uh, obviously since that's already there. Um, I mean, animalized stuff. So, but yeah, definitely Asylum. Um, even uh, another. We we have some good um, Crazy Night stuff already. Uh, that one Japan one. So. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and maybe a, a, a revenge, a, a better revenge. I I don't like the revenge. Uh, what that was out on? What's the name of that one? Um, Extreme close-up. Ex Confidential. 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 Yeah, yeah, that one. I really don't care for the the video, the way they did the video yeah, the, and all yeah. that stuff. Um, Black and, and white. So, yeah. I, or the sound. I, right, right. I, it, exactly. There's got to be you know something better out there, hopefully, um, that they or they can redo it, you know, make it right. Um, but uh, yeah, stuff like that. Definitely creatures <clears throat> and a, and asylum would be my top two that I, I would love to see. Yeah, actually, since I mentioned Animal Eyes, I wouldn't mind the raw uh, record uh, video from um, Detroit and what was it, the other shows that were shot uh, to make that show mm -hmm. without the overdubs because they did clean it up and they did fix oh, yeah. stuff uh, for the release. So that, that would be kind of interesting. And Ken nails it for me, Asylum. We know there's a pro shot. How much mm -hmm. of it? Unknown. Um, but I would give my eye teeth to see... If it's got soundboard audio, if it's frickin' silent, it's pointless to me. I, I would really want it to be matched up with the show. Um, 
because I do want to see that tour properly. I was actually watching some uh, Asylum videos on VHS the other day. <laughs> oh, my. Um, VHS. Okay. Yeah, a couple, of, a couple of Texas shows. And it's like, oh, my God, we need to see those stairs and that stage production, which was pretty cool from yeah. that, that one album. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Daniel also nails it with 95. But, uh, Mark, what would be your most desired well, you know, there's a few things that are that I'd be interested in. Like, I wonder if there's any any footage of you know Mark saying John playing with them that one show, or whether if there's any video of that. That'd be interesting to see that. Um, of course, Asylum being my favorite non-Kiss makeup album, I'd love to see a full, proper thing of that. But but there is one thing I'm hoping that will leak out eventually. Please God, because you know me, I'm I'm a you know, musician guy, but I'm also a studio guy. I'm a guy who loves recording and making stuff. We know that there's obviously footage of the Carnival of Souls in the studio when they're doing stuff, but I've, I we know that there's footage of Sonic Boom when they were doing stuff because they leaked some of that stuff out as well. Wouldn't it be great if we could get like a nice hour long, more complete video of the making of Sonic Boom, the making of Monster even, the making of carnival of souls in full you know or could you imagine if they had like crazy nights in the studio them them working on crazy nights and they videotaped mm-hmm. it all and you can like watch them you know tracking drums or gene in the booth singing something you know girl gone good girl gone bad or something you know that's what i want to see because you know we own we've heard these albums a hundred thousand times but we haven't heard a hundred thousand times them running through it as a band and stopping and saying, nah, you know, Paul fucked up there or something, you know, let's go back and start again. Or Paul singing it and going through some of the parts and, you know, or the producers going and saying, you know what, I got an idea guys. Why don't we do a harmony in this verse part here or something? You know, I, I want to see the, the, the wheels mo- moving, the, the, the gears turning mm-hmm. while they were making these albums. That's what really gets me excited, you know, Will they have ever put something out like that? I don't know. But I mean, that to me is almost as exciting as seeing a live concert. Because to me, when I see a mixing console, I get excited. You know what I mean? That's how I am, you know? So you want three hours of my way vocal takes. All right. Well, no, not just that, but, you know. Now, and now of we course, know. Oh, what? You want, some, you want some bang, bang, you vocals as well? Yeah. Sure. Or no, no, no. And well, he's tracking that guitar solo part. Hold on. You know? yeah. Mark, you know, you know, you've seen those ones, those classic albums mm-hmm. videos that they've done, right? I have certain, all of them, yeah. Right. You know, there's, I don't know, there's Deep Purple and, and well, this, I got everyone Tom, to Tom Petty. Last night. Tom really? Petty, yeah, I I like watching those things. Those are really good. If they had a Kiss one where they bring the tapes back out, and, you know, and they have the yeah, board, that's what and, I mean. yeah, and, and and just and then they they re- recollect things and they listen Is- to only isolating on the board. isolating, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, like isolating the drums and, and this and that. Leopard one? It would yeah. be it would be great. That would be fantastic if they did a Kiss one like oh, yeah. that. But but of course, that takes effort. Yeah, but of course, that there's there's <laughs> one more thing together. That, yeah. There's one more thing that needs to be mentioned. Otherwise, it would not be a Kiss FAQ show, and that is they need to pull out something from Dubai to put out for us to see. You know, <laughs> that they had to have some footage of, of some of that stuff backstage or something. I'm sorry. We, does does anyone actually still care about Dubai now that we've had this? All of all of this video does Dubai even count? Are you gonna? Are, are we still gonna bemoan Canvas. not getting an official release? Uh, other than all the chalkies that we paid for Ken, you know, and again we did right. pay for stuff. But I, I mean, here 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 here's your choice: Dubai Ken or Largo seventy five. Yeah, Largo seventy five. <laughs> I think <yeah. laughs> you know the. The yeah, rage at this point. against Dubai is kind of washed clean because why would I want to see Guinness guy and <laughs> ever <laughs> again, even though it was shot beautifully Guinness and all guy. that, when there's now Anaheim 76? I yeah. mean, I think Dubai, Dubai won't get any better than when we watch it live together. I mean, that yeah. was the, the moment. True. You, you can't you can't put a price on 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 that kind of thing. All right, let, let's talk about what you would be most unhappy if the next upload. I mean, you would demand a refund for your bandwidth. What, 
what doesn't interest you in any way, Daniel? I don't know, some lame show from the US leg of Crazy Nights. That would be pretty terrible. Or uh, um, something that we already got, of course. I want. I have never seen the complete shows that were uh, presented this week. So anything that I haven't seen before is great. But, you know, seeing something I've already seen or some lame ass Crazy Nights show, that would be terrible. Oh, <laughs> and I'm not market testing. I'm just curious, by the way. No, I am not Sam Loomis, if you think that asking this question is, <laughs> you know, to make make my crew happy. I didn't have this shit. So, Mark, what would you be least interested in? Probably the same thing. I mean, I, I don't think like anything that we've already had, whether it's from the Kissology or, you know, something that's been put on YouTube already for a long time. I guess those are to be the things that I probably would be the least interested in. But, you know, I mean, I, I can't imagine him doing anything like that. You know, I, I think that he knows he has the finger on the pulse of what's making people excited right now. So I can't I can't imagine that he would go there and say, you know, I'm going to upload like a VHS copy of the videos that Kiss released in the 80s. You know, like I don't think he would do something silly like that, you know, like just something I think that he's on a roll. I think he knows what people want to see, and I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna put up a dud. I don't. I don't think so. Ken. Well, well, the other thing is supposedly there's a lot of this stuff. There's a lot, supposedly of unreleased stuff. So there may be a. a we may be getting a lot more. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, as for not stuff, I don't want to see. I, I can somewhat agree with Crazy Nights, <laughs> too. I mean, th there were some good performances for Crazy Nights, but then there were some really not so good performances. During Philadelphia was they terrible. They kind of lost it. And, and that makes you think, too, though, but they found their footing again out in Hot in the Shade. So Hot in the Shade would be a real good one to have, too. Uh, a nice, cool, great pro shot. I know well, Detroit, that, too, first Detroit. Well, we have that, but, yeah, but it's got it's, that's, nice. that's not the best quality out there. Yeah. I don't believe that's the best. Um, it's obvious it's not the best. Um, um, so there's, I'm hoping there's something really, really clean and nice um, quality video of that. Um, even if it's the same video, as long as it's you know nicer and sounds better. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, you know. I'm up for anything. There's usually nuggets and everything. Um, I don't want partials so much. I mean, sometimes it is. It's okay to get a partial because you haven't. If you've never seen anything before from some, some special show, like if we got Asylum for like three three videos or something, uh, I'd be really happy about it. But sure, I'd want the whole show. But uh, you know, a few is better than nothing. Yeah, I, I think. I, I don't care. I, I don't think there's anything I wouldn't want just as a matter of interest of actually seeing it. Um, obviously, there clearly are some tours that don't have definitive videos like Asylum and Lick It Up. But, you know, if something's even a minor upgrade visually or has uh, just a minor part restored to it so it's more complete than what is previously, then that's still a win. Um, but, yeah, Crazy Nights would would tickle my fancy the least because I really feel that Tokyo is already the definitive video for that tour. So it's almost like, well, why do I need anything else? Uh, but then as a Kiss fan, obviously, it's a shiny item. Um, so the addiction takes over, clearly. You know, I'm not throwing stones at anyone who buys those box sets, by the way. Even if they are crap sandwiches sonic-wise, they do look very, very pretty. And they are generally nicely designed yeah mark we could roll our eyes all we want but you know <laughs> I, I guess either we get it or we don't get it um any other things you guys want to add daniel any further thoughts because there's no point even going to the board topic it's just absolutely oh. inundated with these topics in general no mm -hmm. just uh, keep your eyes open for the next one uh and uh, i'm sure it's, i'm pretty sure it will be something exciting so that's just about it. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eyes open. Like I said, every morning now, before I take the, because my dog, Shadow, 
he's up at seven o'clock every morning and he starts doing the little like waking me up with the little small barks until I finally start moving and then he starts barking louder. It's time to go out. So now when he wakes me up, I grab my phone. What's on, you know, coming up now? So I, I'm looking forward to it. So I, I I can't wait. I hope there's something tomorrow that's going to surprise me even more than what I got surprised with today. So if you by any chance ha have missed this, you have to subscribe to Sam Loomis on YouTube yes. and you'll get a notification when he releases the next gem. Yes. Yeah, I mean, today, this morning, when I, I wasn't expecting to see, I was like, okay, this it probably won't be anything today, but then I look and I'm on the board and I'm looking up and saying, there's these topics or these, and, you know, new videos. I was like, I was like, really, again? There's more? <laughs> so, so it's like, it's like, oh, okay, here we go again. So let's see what's, what's new. Um, I hope it continues. Um, It'd be cool if it's it's a daily thing, for a while or never ending. <laughs> yeah, this, mor this morning this morning was a waterfall. So, um, last question: If Universal were to release these on DVD again, um, or uh, <laughs> iTunes Digital, since you can do video there, though I don't know what the rights are no clue what what all that legal shit is let's yeah. just say they did an off the off the video component to off the soundboard minimal packaging all that shit but they released them officially would you buy them after seeing them or being able to watch them for free on youtube daniel even the digital uh, if they did kind of off the soundboard with blu-rays or dvds I would probably get them, uh, but I would like some nice packaging to go with it as well. I think it was kind of lazy with the soundboard stuff, even if I understand it's supposed to look like, you know, the bootleg thing. I'd like the full package, you know, like they did back in the day. Uh, yeah. uh, hire someone to do a nice cover and, <laughs> uh, you know, put in some effort, goddammit. Which costs money. Mark. Yeah, it does, but they but, have but the, you know the ironic thing is though, you know Daniel is saying that uh, they, you know, the off the soundboard thing. I understand that it's supposed to look like a bit like a like yeah. it's a bootleg thing, but the bootleg things look so good. They look better than the Kiss products. So if they actually tried to do it like the bootlegs, they would look a lot better. You know. But anyways, uh, so I I think I would probably buy them if they had them out in Blu-ray or something like that, and uh, they made like a proper you know proper edit of it, and you know touched up the thing just very slightly just a little bit just you know like a slight little bastard job on the blu-ray audio yeah I, i'd get it yeah I'd, I'd, I'd totally buy just a even off the soundboard style release bare bones with a menu um mm -hmm. you know background studio tweaked audio and all that you're not going to get a full bootleg style production because every one of those things that go into it has a line item of cost associated with it and it, it's just it's just not feasible i don't think but in, in terms of as a throwaway uh, they literally are thrown away now you know it is they are devalued they are marginalized. They're they're essentially worthless because they're out there for free, um, and I'm really enjoying watching them, <laughs> even, <laughs> even, even even knowing that kittens are dying and children are starving as a result of these being leaked. There we are. It's been a waterfall of a week. Who knows what's going to continue? It, it, it is a it, you know get your popcorn and and see what happens because I think the amount of press that these have gotten is not necessarily a good thing uh, for longevity um, because there's no way that the band Paul rolls out of bed has his roughage checks ultimate classic rock or classic rock and holy shit <laughs> you know or or maybe meh. Whatever. I, I mean, who knows? It'd be interesting, you know, for anyone going to meet and greets uh, or a QA and a sessions with the band to ask them, you know, hey, have you seen how all this stuff's leaking on YouTube? What do you think of that? Um, you know, do, do they know? Do they have any awareness 10 days in or are they in a bubble? Uh, they're on tour. They're busy. You know, they, they're, they're in a bubble. They're, they're working. Doc, Doc, you're the manager, dude. You know what's going on, you know. So that, I'm 
that's why I say I'm getting my popcorn because it's not just for watching the shows; it's for watching the after show, or mm-hmm. or, or, or the the back show. So <laughs> there we are. You know, so here's our question to everyone who's watched and joined in with us today. Obviously, there are some topics that we have not touched on quite deliberately. But what do you think of these leagues? Do you think it's good, bad? Do you got a favorite? Do you got a least favorite? Um, and let's stay away from the dramatic side of the why, the how, because uh, there's just not much known on that at this point. And frankly, I'm not interested in other people's dramas. That's the second time I've said that today. Well, first time I typed yeah. it. But I'm supremely <laughs> disinterested with other people's dramas. So enjoy the shows that you watch. And how about saying thank you in some of those messages rather than can you up in a higher quality lossless please uh, yeah. no there wasn't even a please you know and maybe English is a second language so some of the nuance is lost but um, you know just a simple thanks rather than complaints complaining about free shit is like having well having a heart attack and receiving an electric shock and complaining that it hurt you know? yeah. Winning on the lottery and complaining about the taxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. So chime in with your thoughts on uh, all of these shows and all, you know, all the stuff that's going on. And uh, for now, from Daniel, Mark, Ken, and myself, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.